Welcome back. Trivia fans, listen up. Tomorrow night, you have a chance to test your skills while helping a good cause. Joining us now is Frank Chen from the Room to Read Initiative. The group is holding its Beers for Books fundraiser tomorrow. So glad you could be here. Thank you very much, Rob. Uh, it's very nice being here, yeah. and uh, thanks for the opportunity. Tell us a bit about, about um, this Room to Read program. Well, it sounds amazing. Thank you for asking. Well, Room to Read is a nonprofit organization, and our main dedication is to providing educational opportunities to children around the world. Mm -hmm. So our main two focuses are actually providing literacy and providing gender equality uh, in education. So wow. it's really a great cause. Yeah. Both important causes. Very much so, yeah. In places um, Asia, Africa. Yes, very much. We do. Uh, we work in Vietnam, Cambodia, the Philippines. Uh, we build schools, libraries, publish books um, in the local language, as well as um, um, public, what else is that that we do? We have uh, some notes here, and we provide scholarships for uh, for girls. It's a really great cause. Yeah. How amazing is that? Uh, I've got some numbers here. I mean, you've built over 10,000 libraries yeah. in the past, what, uh, decade or so. 1,000 schools, 1,000 girls on scholarship, like you mentioned, and donated more than 10 million books? That's right. I see our chapter leader actually made a trip to Vietnam recently, mm -hmm. and she saw all of this action, like all these, um, all the donations we've had put it forth into effort. It was really, really just amazing what she found out there. The children there, all very happy. So what are we doing locally then? Uh, beers for books. So that's what we're going to do. We're actually doing an event at Lucy's. We're doing a trivia night. Okay. We're going to have nine rounds of fantastic fun, prizes. We're going to encourage a lot of people to bring out their friends and test their wits yeah. with other people in the community. Um, but yeah, we're going to have prizes. It's a $10 entry fee, okay. no cover charge. Right. So, yeah. And is it, I was, I was reading a little bit about it. I, mean, I was thinking, you know, you could buy a beer and, and donate a book at the same time. Is that, is that kind of how it works where the profits are, are based on, on, on sales? Right. So the whole purpose of Beers for Books is to work with local bars. And any time a beer is purchased, the bar will donate a dollar, which goes towards publishing a book oh, good. in that country. So it's it's really great, yeah. You and I kind of take it for granted. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people do that. Books are just available. They're at the library. They're they're on our iPad. Yeah. If we're lucky enough to have one of those. Yeah. But a lot of the developing world just doesn't have any kind of access. That's to exactly them. right. That's right. You know, and a lot of times, you know, they're not provided with the opportunity to have access to books and education so with this you know global initiative it's really just a powerful opportunity for us to get books in children's hands it's amazing and so yeah. again it's happening tomorrow the the beers for books event at lucy's retired surfers bar there we have it up on the screen there so friday from seven in the 500 block of West, runs from 7 till 10, and again, a fundraiser for Room to Read. Just, it sounds like a terrific organization. How many people are you expecting? Well, well we had an event a few months ago. About 100 people came out. We're hoping for a little bit more, mm -hmm. so we look forward to all the awesome support. Definitely come out. We look forward to seeing everybody there. We're going to have a great time. So, yeah, we're hopefully at least more than 100. Yeah, so you're yeah. looking for cash. People can bring books or no? Um, if you like, but we're really we're doing it for cash donations because mm -hmm. we actually donate this, and then we'll do the publishing on our own oh, yeah. for the book. So, unless you can write in different languages, there other you. than that, right? <laughs> And, and quickly, the website, just think people want a little more information. Um, it's roomtoread.com. We can also do the uh, Austin chapter, but um, there's a place that has all our information on there, ways to apply for volunteering mm -hmm. positions. But we're always looking for people to kind of participate and join this amazing cause. Um, more the merrier. Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Frank Chen, appreciate you coming in. Thank you much, Rob. Appreciate right. it.